Namaste. Welcome to Srimad Devi Bhagavatam. The Sanskrit verse you just heard is the Sodashi Mantra. Sodashi Mantra is the most powerful and beneficial Vedic prayer. It invokes the Shakti of Goddess Lalita, also known as Tripura Sundari, Mahamaya, Durga, and many other names. Who is Goddess Lalita? This Srimad Devi Bhagavatam is her story. Listen, and you will gain immense spiritual benefit. Here begins Chapter 2 of Srimad Devi Bhagavatam. Sri Sutta replied, I am highly fortunate. I consider myself blessed, and I am purified by the Mahatmas, the high-souled persons, inasmuch as I am questioned by them about the highly meritorious Devi Bhagavata Purana, famous in the Vedas. I will now speak in detail about this Purana, the best of the Agamas, approved by all the Vedas and the most secret of all the Shastras. O Brahmanas, I bow down to the gentle lotus feet known throughout the three lokas of the Devi Bhagavati, praised by Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha, and other Devas, meditated upon always by the Munindras, and which the yogis contemplate as their source of liberation. Today, I will devotedly describe in detail and in plain language that Purana, which is the best of all the Puranas, which gives prosperity and contains all the sentiments, rasas, that a human being can conceive, the Srimad Devi Bhagavatam. May that highest primal Shakti, who is known as Vidya in the Vedas, who is omniscient, who controls the innermost being of all, and who is skilled in cutting off the knot of the world, who cannot be realized by the wicked and the vicious, but who is visible to the Munis in their meditation. May that Bhagavati Devi give me always the buddhi fit to describe this, her Purana. I call to my mind the mother of all the worlds who creates this universe, whose nature is both real from the relative point of view and unreal from the absolute point of view, who creates, preserves, and destroys by her rajasic, sattvic, and tamasic qualities respectively, and in the end resolves all these into herself and plays alone in the period of dissolution. At this time, I remember that mother of all the worlds. It is commonly thought that Brahma is the creator of this universe, and the knowers of the Vedas and the Puranas say so. But they also say that Brahma is born of the navel lotus of Vishnu. Thus it appears that Brahma cannot create independently. Again, Vishnu, from whose navel lotus Brahma is born, lies in Yoga Nidra on the bed of Ananta, the thousand-headed serpent, in the time of Pralaya. So how can we call Bhagavan Vishnu who rests on the thousand-headed serpent, Ananta, as the creator of the universe. Again, the refuge of Ananta 
is the water of the ocean, a carnava. A liquid cannot rest without a vessel. So I take refuge of the mother of all beings, who resides as the Shakti of all, and thus is the supporter of all. I fly for refuge unto that Devi, who was praised by Brahma, while resting on the navel lotus of Vishnu, who was lying fast asleep in Yoga Nidra. O Munis, meditating on that Maya Devi, who creates, preserves, and destroys the universe, who is known as the source of the three gunas, and who grants mukti, I now describe the whole of her Purana. Now you all should hear. The Purana Srimad Bhagavat, also known as the Devi Bhagavata, is excellent and holy. 18,000 pure slokas are contained in it. Bhagavan Krishna Dvaipayana has divided this Purana into 12 auspicious skandhas, books or cantos, and 318 chapters. That work is denominated as a Purana, which contains the following five characteristics. Creation of the universe, secondary creation, dynasties, manvantaras, and the description of Manus and other kings. O best of Munis, all the Puranas are endowed with these five characteristics. These five characteristics of the Puranas are also contained in the Devi Bhagavatam. Shiva is beyond prakritic attributes, eternal and ever omnipresent. She is without any change, immutable, unattainable but by yoga. She is the refuge of the universe and her nature is Turiya Chaitanya. Mahalakshmi is her Sattviki Shakti. Saraswati is her Rajasiki Shakti. And Mahakali is her Tamasiki Shakti. These are all feminine forms. The assuming of bodies by these three Shaktis for the creation of this universe is denominated as Sarga, creation by the Mahapurushas, skilled in Shastras. And the further resolution of these three Shaktis into Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesha for the creation, preservation, and destruction of this universe is denominated in this Purana as Pratisarga, secondary creation. The description of the kings of the solar and lunar dynasties and the families of Hiranyakashipu and others is known as the description of the lineages of kings and their dynasties. The description of Swayambhuva and other Manus and their ruling periods is known as Manvantaras. And the description of their descendants is known as the description of their dynasties. Thus, these are the five characteristics in the Puranas as contained in the Devi Bhagavatam. So also is Mahabharata Vaiveda Vyas characterized by these five things. This Mahabharata is known as the fifth Veda and Itihasa, history. In this, there are something more than one lakh shlokas. Shaunaka said, O Sutta, what are those Puranas and how many verses are contained in each? Speak all those in detail in this holy Kshetra. We, the residents of Naimasharanya, are all very eager to hear this. Now hear why we call ourselves the residents of Naimasharanya. You will realize then that no other place exists in this Kali age for hearing the holy discourses on religion. When we were afraid of the Kali Age, Brahma gave us a Manomaya Chakra, a wheel made of mind, and said to all of us, follow this wheel, go after it, 
and the spot where the felly, the rim of the wheel, will become thin so as to break and will not roll further. That country is the holy place. Kali will never be able to enter there. You all better remain there until the Satya age comes back. On hearing the words of Brahma, we went out quickly, keeping the wheel before us, our object being to determine which place is best and holiest. When we came here, the felly of the wheel became thin and shorn before my eyes. Hence, this kshetra is called Naimish. It is the most sanctifying place. Thus, according to the instruction of Brahma, we have got orders to stay here. Kali cannot enter here. Hence, the Mahatmas, Munis, and Siddhas, terrified by the Kali age, have followed me and resorted to this place. We have performed yagnas with purodasa, clarified butter, as is offered in oblations to the fire, where no animals are sacrificed. Now we have no other important work to do except to pass our time here until the arrival of Satya Yuga. O Sutta, we are extremely fortunate in all respects that you have come here. Purify us today by narrating to us the names of the Puranas equivalent to the Vedas. O Sutta, you are also a learned orator. We too are ardent listeners with no other works to bother our heads. Narrate to us today the auspicious holy Devi Bhagavata Purana. O Sutta, long live you, and may no ailments, internal, external, or from the devas, torment you. This is our blessing to you. We have heard that in the most sanctifying Purana, narrated by Maharshi Dvaipayana, all about dharma, religion, artha, wealth, and kama, desires, are duly described. As well acquiring tattva jnana and liberation are also spoken of. O Sutta, our desires are not satisfied the more we hear of these beautiful holy words. Now describe to us the highly pure Srimad Devi Bhagavatam, wherein are described all the leelas, the dramatic acts of the mother of the three worlds, purifying all sins and adorned with all spiritual qualities, as described as yielding all desires like a kalpa vriksha, the celestial tree. Thus ends the second chapter of the first skanda on the description of the Purana in the Maha Purana Srima Devi Bhagavatam of 18,000 verses by Maharshi Veda Vyas. Thanks for listening. Srimad Devi Bhagavatam is best heard from the beginning. So if you just discovered us, please go back and listen to the first episode. Srimad Devi Bhagavatam is a blog, a podcast, even a video series. Check the links in the description for our other sites. This is Adya Shakti Swami. Thanks for listening. Find out what happens in the next episode of Srimad Devi Bhagavatam.